Hi guys, welcome to my first narrated hang gliding video. Volkmar, the guy who's now controlling the nose of the glider, convinced me to release that material because he did that for his flight that day on an Artos rigid wing hang glider and the material caught quite some attention due to the turbulences he experienced. And people were asking how the flex pilot did that day. And this is what we see now. I am the first one to take off and due to the strong wind it was basically a no step take off. But I think it was okay regarding the conditions. And of course I am very happy when I have people helping me control the glider before takeoff on a strong wind day because this is always the hardest thing on such days. So thanks again uh, to the guys that were helping. I'm expecting a nice soaring flight now. This happens. Probably I'm flying the glider a little bit too slow here. And also with the terrain I'm expecting turbulences here. So I think it's not very unusual that this is happening here with the strong wind. But of course it doesn't feel so great when the glider is not doing exactly what you want it to do and I'm happy that I'm far enough from the terrain and the ground. I'm not extremely concerned right now but I already feel that on this day you have to work a bit to stabilize the glider and I'm not looking forward to the task of landing. The other pilot said the forecast predicted perfect conditions so I didn't do a very complete weather check myself which was of course a mistake. see my friend is now turning his glider so he's getting ready for takeoff and I would have told him that the air is maybe a bit different than expected had he charged the batteries of his radio. basically waiting for the other pilot to take off. I'm just hanging out and uh, even trying to gain a little bit of height and even trying to relax myself as far as possible. This is when you sometimes see me releasing grip. That way I use reduction of muscle tension as a means of relaxing myself while flying. But actually at that point I already have to pull a little bit too much, like constantly, to not fly backwards. But also I'm already thinking if it might be better to just pull, speed up the glider and go to land. No, the Atos is in the air, we see him. And I just watch him for a while. Now I feel I might need 
need the VG later so I can speed up the glider a little bit more. So this is one third VG, like I use it for takeoff and landing usually. And you see I still try to relax myself as much as possible while watching the other glider. But I also have to pull a bit more and you also see that the air is bumpy in a way. The wind speed definitely already increased. I have to pull more or less all of the time. And I guess the wind speed was between like 60 to 70 kilometers an hour up there. The problem is I didn't get any display by the variometer because the one I usually use is mounted in a pot that I use for my T2C. And now here I'm flying the Wheelswing U2, which is a great glider, I love it. But the T2C has higher performance, of course. And uh, the Vario somehow didn't display any wind speeds, I haven't been using it for a while. But the other pilot had a working variometer and he's telling you more about the wind speeds. It looks like he's flying out, but I think he climbed again later and that's also the reason he was experiencing more turbulences than I did. Now you see that I'm basically flying a bit backwards, again when I'm not so concentrated. I'm watching the other glider and I do not want to climb more now because I understand that the wind is increasing with the height. This might well be close to the highest point of the flight which was only 175 meters above uh, takeoff which is less than 600 feet. I have definitely no intention of climbing up higher. I'm checking what my mate is doing. I remember there was also a bird of prey close by flying, but you cannot see it on the camera. But you see, again I'm flying a little bit backwards and uh, there's also some bumpiness at that side there's also the option of top ending further back not what we see now but i didn't want to do that because you have to fly close to the trees and i felt this might be too much risk and you see i definitely have to work here to stabilize the glider And I also understand that uh, I cannot rely on lots of control when I'll be landing later. The other thing is, uh, what did we expect? What kind of weather did we expect uh, on that flight? Actually, my friend, as I said, was checking the weather and we weren't very much aware of the gradient. I thought the bigger problem would be the spread between steady wind and gusts. And also before we uh, launched, we were basically having no wind at the bottom of the ridge. There's a windsock there and it was almost showing no wind at all. So actually we were concerned if we'd get too far from the ridge that we'd be landing immediately. So <laughs> it was a bit of a strange situation and it may be an indicator <laughs> also to not take off next time if you have this strange kind of conditions. Now regarding the title of this video. 
I mainly used it because my mate used the title like this and I wanted to connect because this is uh, the view of the flex pilot on that day. I can say I'm not in horror right now. I mean, I know I can go faster flying against the wind, but it's definitely demanding. So you also saw some turbulence again. Maybe you even noticed some backwards flying before again. I'm speeding up a little bit here and I definitely have to work all the time. So you are in the air and you know it's not a good day for flying. You should not have taken off that day and you don't know what to expect when you are landing. You don't know uh, how the conditions will be exactly. So you're not exactly maybe looking forward to this. Of course you want to be down there and uh, when you're working all the time it's also a bit exhausting of course. And you see my mate out there already, okay, you don't see him so much now because the glider got pushed out of the direction. But uh, the Atos pilot is already uh, out there, so he wants to land again and pushed out from the direction. So I decide that I will watch his landing, so I know a little bit more about the conditions. It will still take a while until he's landing and due to being pushed out of the direction and also maybe some increasing wind I got pushed backwards or flew backwards a little bit and I realized that pulling a little bit of VG might be a good idea so it would be easier to fly at higher speed. Is again the bird of prey to my left which we cannot see but he's really having lots of fun more fun than I do and I still have to work all the time but currently I'm uh, I moved a little bit more forward and also I lost some height already but still there's lots of wind here already saw my friend coming from the left to the right next to the street here parallel to the street so he's actually close to landing now and of course I'm watching him very in a very interested way because I want to get a feeling for the conditions down there here where I am there's still lots of wind but uh, his approach looks rather smooth, so I'm not so worried right now. But still, you see, it's demanding. Although I'm already in front of the ridge now, and uh, my next step will be selecting a place to land. And uh, I do not want to land too close to him, but. I intend to land close to the road on the big empty field so there are not so many obstacles to be expected and even if I do not have good control over the glider when I'm landing it should be okay so there is less opportunity of uh, any injury or something or some problems. This is already open, you can see my knee sticking out there and you also see that there's still strong wind although I'm already in front of the ridge. You may even see the Alps to the left hand side, it's actually rather beautiful but I couldn't enjoy that so much during that flight, the focus was definitely on something else. And I'm almost above the road, this 
little road, but there's lots of upwind here still. I guess it's the trees along the road that deflect the air and thereby create the upwind. It's a little bit bumpy also. Oh, and usually I'd expect the glider to go down rather quickly with that strong wind. But it's not happening here. During the flight it definitely felt much longer than if you look at the stopwatch now. But still it is no fast descent here. I mean the height difference between launch and landing is only 60 meters which is like 180 feet. That's not a lot and this is not a fast descent. As long as I stay in front of the road, the whole area is more or less free of obstacles, so this shouldn't be a big problem here. And also I feel that the glider is now starting to descend a bit quicker than it did before. And you also see my friend running across the field, so he may help me after landing. I am speeding up the glider to have more control while landing. I think I'm overdoing it actually. And you see I'm having ground speed now. And you also see Faulkner running to me. Thanks a lot Faulkner, that was very nice of you. That moment didn't feel so nice. But then in the end I managed a good landing. Well, as usual, if you have strong wind, it's usually no problem. And I'm turning the glider immediately. After the flight, both of us are happy to be back on the ground. And you may even notice the gusty wind if you look at the glider and at the grass now. It was definitely a mistake to take off on that day and I hope you learn something from it and don't make the same mistake.